Well, Reva had some things she had to do. She didn't want to tell me what they were, but she had to do them. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's becoming kind of a reoccurring thing, you know? Dylan shows up, she talks to him for five minutes, he leaves, and then she disappears and doesn't want to tell me about it. Mm. So I thought I would just take a little break from her uh, mothering. Well, how's this thing going with her and Dylan? She's trying to back off a little bit, but you know, really. Yeah, yeah. She's never quite been able to do anything halfway. Tell me she? about it. <laughs> I don't know where she gets all that energy from. It makes me tired just to watch her. Ah, hey. You look bush. Drink up. Man. Thank you so much, sir. You got it. Good evening. Oh, it definitely is. What can I get for you? What are you having? Me? I, uh... I'm having a, 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 a break from my wife and child, actually. Like some company? Sure. Sure. Uh, pull up a pull up a seat. Give her the usual. Okay. The Baroness is not receiving callers this evening. I'm sorry, Miss Spaulding is not receiving. You can't just barge in there like that. I tried to stop her, madam. I'm sorry. It's all right, Joseph. No doubt Mrs. Lewis has something very important to say. Are we raking it in or what? Yeah, well, we're doing okay, but I just hope we're not about to turn into the, the Lonely Hearts Club. What are you talking about? Huh? What's he doing here? Well, I was hoping you could tell me. Now, I got no idea. Where's Reed? He said she was um, busy mothering and he needed a little break. Oh, yeah. Now, I forgot. Uh, see, Dylan came over to the country club to talk to Reed, and I think maybe... Maybe Josh was feeling a little left out. Well, can you blame him? No. No. Especially, you're gonna love this. Uh huh? Reva tried to get Josh to settle some blue soil stock on the kid, and I like a jerk back to her. Look, but if Josh does not know that this kid has well, wait, 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 blood wait, 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 in it. Jo Josh pointed that out to us, and I'm not gonna be the one to tell him, so don't worry. Did you wanna know something interesting? Huh? H.B. was willing to give stock to the kid. He doesn't even know he's his grandson. <laughs> that old man's sharp, man. He just uh, instinctively sees you and the kid. That's what it is. Maybe. Uh, I'd be proud as hell if it chose. Yeah, well, we can't let it show too much. Yeah, I know, I know. Otherwise, Jack's gonna find out. Right. But I tell you something. Sometimes I just wish I could walk over there and tell Josh the truth. I'm not going on. But I wish I could. Yeah. I just hope that, uh... Reva can convince Josh that the kids deserve it. That doesn't seem very likely to me, man. Come on, Amp, he's my boy. I'm gonna hope. Hey, hey. Oh! Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 a big old smile on your face. I guess I owe that smile to you. How you doing, Ray? Well, I like her to be smiling myself. Yeah. I hate smile done disappear. Turn them, what's the matter? How is that woman talking to Uncle Josh? Oh, uh, well, they just struck up a conversation, nobody. <sighs> Hi, Uncle Josh. And where's Aunt Reva tonight? Oh, and uh, tell me, when is she expecting that baby of yours? Thank you. It's Mrs. Joshua Lewis now, isn't it? <sighs> Congratulations. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's at the third time, right? Third and last. Oh, yeah. I'm sure this time it's forever. <laughs> That's right. Well, anyway, uh, perhaps you didn't hear, Joseph. I am not receiving tonight, which means please leave. Do you have any idea where Alan Michael is right now? I presume he's at home with Harley. Wrong. He's on his way over to the LeMay's. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's too late, Alexander. I told you he's already on his way over there. And how do you know all this, may I ask? Because my son is with them. Excuse me, did you say your son? Yes, I did. Did I miss more than a wedding this summer? I had a son, Alexander, a long time ago. He came to Springfield this summer. And he's become a friend of Alan Michaels? Well, I wouldn't exactly call them friends. But you just said that, that they're, they're on their way over to the LeMay's. Wait a minute. Dylan. Dylan is my son. Oh, of course. That upstanding young man who got Harley pregnant a couple of years ago and then took off. It turned up again. 
because holy hell with my family, because the, the girl had the good sense to give his child up for adoption. You know, I thought you'd see him that way. And somewhere in there, he spent a little time in prison, as I recall, for He theft. had a tough life before I came along. And why am I not surprised he's your son? You know, as I recall, Alexandra, your son, Lujak, had a pretty rough life, too, before he found you. Don't speak of my son in the same breath as that... that... God help us! But our sons have a lot in common. My son is dead. He died trying to do something noble, trying to save a young woman's life. My son's trying to do the right thing, too. As painful as it is, he is trying. So you've come here to tell me that my nephew and your son have gone to the LeMays tonight on some mission? They've gone to apologize to the LeMays. My God. Alan Michael spends a whole day trying to get arrested, you see, because he thinks that is the noble thing to do. And having been thwarted in that effort, thanks to the good sense of the police and the DA and the LeMays, he's off on another crusade to apologize. Well, so is Dylan. Dylan feels like he needs to apologize, too. Well, that I can understand, since he's the one who started all this he mess. He has accepted the blame, but he was not responsible for the kidnapping. No, no, Alan Michael seems to want to take full credit for that one. If you knew they were going, Reva, why didn't you stop them? I would have. Only I suppose you have never heard that sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. You know, Alexandra, you may not believe this, but I have heard that quote before, and I understand what it means. And I do agree with you that the kids probably shouldn't go over there. But I thought since they were, perhaps you might want to know about it. Well, now I know. Yes. Now you know. Thank you for coming. You're quite welcome. You know, your nephew kidnapped my granddaughter and set my son up to take the blame. Maybe one of these days he'll be able to apologize to me, too. Reva, wait. 